rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe you hello everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a long awaited hair tutorial or well, it's actually a routine video i haven't done a hair video on my channel in a minute so i was like you know what they deserve an updated wash and go and I've never really showed like my wash and go routine I think I did a video like a really 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 long time ago but I don't even know if it's still up on my channel and it was when my hair was dark and it was short after I big chopped but anyway updated wash and go routine I'm showing you guys my little shower routine this is the way that it turned out this is how I've been rocking my hair like when I wear want to wear it out um, this is the routine that I do so I just thought why not just sit down and film it for you guys? I hope you enjoyed this wash and go routine. If you like it and if you like the way my hair turned out, then give me a thumbs up down below. You can click that thumbs up button. That way I know that you like hair videos. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And just keep watching if you want to see how I got my hair to look like this. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like. This is like three day, four day old hair, all nasty, whatever. We're gonna wet it first, make sure that it's completely rinsed through, and then I'm going in with my Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. This really cleanses your hair, and I feel because it has the peppermint and the apple cider vinegar in it, you really feel like your scalp is super clean, but it doesn't strip your scalp of the moisture the healthy oils that you need so it doesn't dry your hair out and I love the shampoo for that reason like my hair never ever feels dry when I use this shampoo which I feel like is really important it's sulfate and it's color safe and sulfate is another thing that's gonna dry your hair out and I have color treated hair so I need to make sure that I'm not damaging my hair further so I'm just going to rinse that out and then I'm going in with the as I am coconut co-wash I really love this conditioner um, you can use it on its own you don't have to use a shampoo prior to using this product because it is a co-wash I spilled some I was so mad I was like girl that's like two dollars worth <laughs> like what are you doing <laughs> but you just apply this I'm gonna lather it in to my hair I always start at the ends with my conditioner and I work my way up into the scalp you can apply this to your scalp and you can like massage it in because it is a co-wash it's not your traditional conditioner with standard conditioner you don't really have to put it on your scalp because conditioner is more meant for your ends to repair your ends and smooth your ends and make sure that your hair is tangle free so I'm just going in and I'm detangling you can finger detangle with this co-wash or you can use a brush I'm using my Denman brush and this is my favorite for detangling it just really gets all of the knots out of my hair um, and it is a rubber brush so I feel like it's not ripping my hair as it's doing so um, so that's what my hair is looking like this is as much hair that I've gotten from the brush that's fell out like um, I took that off of the brush and I just wanted to show you guys so I didn't have that much loose hair or hair that got pulled out my hair is all detangled yay and then we're just going to rinse the co-wash out you could go in with a deep conditioner after this but on my wash and go days I just want to be quick like I don't have time to deep condition I have to go to work or I have to be out and I just want to wear my hair out but I want it to look cute my ends are feeling extremely moisturized and soft and my hair overall just feels super clean and amazing and now we're ready for part two. And then now that we're out of the shower, my hair is all washed, I'm going in with the Argan Oil Intensive Conditioning Treatment. I spoke about this in one of my favorites videos a while back. This is still my ride or die. I love how soft this product makes my hair feel, how moisturized it makes my hair feel, and it's not heavy. It's super lightweight, so it doesn't weigh down my hair and weigh down my curls. And I always make sure to wear a cotton t-shirt when I'm like, when I have my hair out. Um, because other kinds of shirts can pull on your hair and cause breakage, especially at the back of your head or the back of your neck. So I'm always wearing a cotton shirt and I actually don't um, dry my hair with a towel anymore. I know a while back I did that in one of my videos, but then I did like some research on it after someone commented and was like, hey girl, you shouldn't be doing that. And I was like, you know what, let me do some further research. So I actually don't even dry my hair with the towel anymore. I'll use a cotton t-shirt or I'll just let it like drip on the floor until there's no more water I'll drip it into the shower or whatever anyway 
going back to the routine we're going in with the shea moisture curl enhancing coconut and hibiscus smoothie i know you guys have seen this like all over this product is honestly amazing this is a heavier product but i still apply a lot because i have so much hair on my head so i need to make sure that i get every single curl i massage this bad boy right into my scalp and it makes my curls so tight and nice and defined but my hair still like can get really big um, so I'm just scrunching this into my hair making sure to like add volume I flip my hair and I do the same thing and then I flip it back and I'm making sure to get it on my edges as well girl okay um, yeah so then we're going in with a diffuser on my hair dryer and I'm just showing you guys how I diffuse my hair I have done this in past videos but I was like you know why not let's just show them the whole thing um, so you see how wet my shirt is? That's because I just let my hair like dry on my shirt. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going in with my diffuser and I'm just going section by section. And I always love to flip my head and diffuse that way too because I create so much volume that way. And I feel like with all this hair, I need volume because if it's flat, it just looks so flat and it's just like ew no that's not cute we want volume we want big hair big hair don't cur okay so I'm just making sure to like really create that volume at the crown of my head by applying the diffuser and then kind of shimmying it <laughs> over my head um, I made sure to diffuse my part and this is my final hair look whatever you want to call it this is what my hair looks like I love it it looks so healthy my curls are really defined but my hair is still really big and then this is me with a beat face yes girl if you want to see more photos of this look and just my hair in general make sure you add me on instagram and don't forget to check out any of my other videos i have up on my channel i love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye